we were looking at what I've called hypotheses, and we are, we start with a song forever, oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled in heaven forever, oh Lord. Thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled in heaven. Okay, so the reason why we're looking at hypothesis is because it has, you know, some parallel with the word of God. For instance, in research studies, your hypothesis has to be in line with the literature. In other words, you can't come up with a hypothesis that is against current literature. But your study can accept or reject the hypothesis. But the hypothesis is informed by current literature. Now let's go to the word of God. You can't pray what is not in the word of God. I don't want to, I don't mean to start the battle of the sexes, but if you look at the scripture, it's very clear. The wife is to submit to the husband. So you can't start praying, Lord, let make my husband submit to me. You can't do that. It's against scriptures. Just like hypothesis, you can't do something against current knowledge. You know, but you can pray that your husband understands you. Because the scripture is very clear. First Peter 3 7 that the husband should dwell with her according to knowledge. Now, let's go to academics. I pray this for my children, you know, that they will have more understanding than all their teachers, because it's in the word of God, Psalm 119, verse 99. But I'm also concerned, are my students praying about this? I want to have more understanding than this particular teacher. For me, I can claim for my eminent professors, those that taught me that I have more understanding than them, so that I can achieve a lot more than them. And I can also claim the promise that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. But basically, we line up our prayers, you know, in tandem with the word of God, you know. And there are so many, there, there are beautiful reasons for this. If you look at Psalm 138 verse 2, this is mind-blowing. For you have magnified your word above all your name. I know sometimes we say, hey, Jesus, because we know it works. But the word of God, above all the names of God, you know, that is, how, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is the promise that we have. So we need to pray the word of God into existence. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. Then the Lord said to me, you have seen well, for I am watching over my word to perform it. Maybe this is the breakthrough that you require. Make it a habit to pray the word of God. I go forth in joy and be let forth in peace. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. Wherever the soul of my feet shall touch, I possess it for my possession. Claim the word of God and start seeing the difference in terms of your prayer. 